Start with those car break-ins, the most recent round, 23 burglaries in one night across Flagler County this time. Deputies say they got the first call from a neighbor on Lakeside Place East in Palm Coast who saw the teen steal a car. The car turned up on Bronson Lane, and then hours later, deputies got more calls of break-ins from Bayside Drive. News 6's Brittany Harris is live with how deputies are getting crime results with these burglaries. Brittany. Well, hi there, Eric. You know, we've reported on hundreds of these kinds of car burglaries where people are forgetting to lock their car doors at night. And I know myself, I myself am guilty of this too. Someone broke into my car a couple of years ago, but please say it's so important to lock your car at night so something like this doesn't happen to you. Oh, where's your emergency? Um, it, there was somebody going through my vehicle. 23 cars were burglarized in Palm Coast overnight, and deputies say five teens from Jacksonville are to blame. Two of the suspects have been identified as 17-year-old Darian Sessions and 19-year-old Jordan Vital. Your kids are going to do what they're going to do. They, you know... They get, the parents don't know where they're at, I think. Tracy Miller lives in one of the neighborhoods that got hit. He was spared this time around, but says someone broke into his car a couple of weeks ago. We come out one morning and somebody had rifled through it. There wasn't anything there to take, so, you know. It happens. Deputies were able to catch the suspects thanks to one of the victims. He was able to describe the car they were driving. It was a newer model white Dodge Ram. Did they leave? Yes. And as it turns out, that car was stolen from St. John's County. They all knew it was stolen. One of the boys had the keys to the stolen vehicle in his pocket. Jim Troiano works with the Flagler County Sheriff's Office and says the teens are facing serious charges at this point. We're looking closely to determine whether they're related to any other crimes in uh, Flagler County. And at this point, we, we can't say that they are. Now, deputies do plan to return all of the sto stolen items back to their rightful owners. So if you are in Palm Coast and are missing items from your car, please call the Flagler County Sheriff's Office. Eric. You know, Brittany, police have repeated the same advice about locking doors over and over, especially recently. Apparently, though, the message just isn't getting through as simple as it is. Do they know why? Yeah, it doesn't seem to be getting through, but the spokesperson I interviewed today from the sheriff's office says that people are too trusting and maybe they're getting complacent or feel like the area that they live in is safe. But he says the bottom line here is lock it or lose it. Unfortunately, times are changing, Brittany. Got to adapt. Thank you. Mm -hmm.